Tombstone, tweet at me and tell me I need to watch Tombstone at la- at Last Pick Pod, um, or uh, we'll get in the comment section up on the website at www.lastpicksports.com. Um, we also broadcast this episode on Spreaker, SoundCloud, and the Google Play Store. So, a little plug there. Anyway, um, got off top. ACC, we added Marshall. Okay. The obvious choice in the Coastal Division um, is my favorite team, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Um, you know, I predict they're going to finish second in the playoffs this year. They're going to lose to uh, not Tennessee. Yeah. Not Tennessee. Yeah, no, no. The, the, ten, ten, Cody's a big Tennessee boy, so. Oh, I don't even want to hear about Jalen Hurd. Get the hell out of here. Hurd's going to run wild on y'all. Listen, all right. No, it's, first of all, he's not. Yes. First of all, they both got to get there. We'll see. And I disagree. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's all right. Big 12 Nation wins it all. Okay, so we had another name. We had, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, so the coastal, coastal Division is Duke, Georgia Tech, Miami, North Carolina, Pittsburgh, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Notre Dame. Okay, that gives the ACC 16 teams. Okay, so now we're sitting there. The Big Ten is the last. It's kind of the easy one. Um, and, well, it wasn't easy because we actually switched this around a couple times. We originally put Marshall in the Big Ten um, and then realized that we that we forgot about Cincinnati. And yeah, we, Maddie's just a dumb shit and forgot. That's true. That's fair. I forgot about Cincinnati. And then I realized that Cincinnati needs to go in there with Indiana, Penn State, Ohio State. I mean, it's an Ohio school, so it just made sense. So – the Big Ten East, you end up getting Indiana, Maryland, Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, Penn State, Rutgers, and Cincinnati. Which that would that would be that'd be easy. I told you that was the last podcast. He sounds like an anteater over there when he's licking himself. He's turning up. He's ridiculous. Yeah, my dog is crazy. He really likes your bench. He's old too, so he's getting weirder by the day goes by. Yeah, getting old. Getting old's a bitch. Say, so, but. Uh, so, Big Ten, Northern Illinois, Cincy, um, those are your ads there. Oh, I didn't. I, I just spoiled the, the, the add-on. That was the Northern big reveal. Like, here, where is Northern Illinois? Like, I, I feel like it, at times when they had, like, Chandler Harnish, um, gosh, who was some of their other quarterbacks they had. Interesting story about Chandler Harnish. I played college football with his brother. Did you? Yeah. Did you win? Huh? Did you all win? Oh, we weren't very good at Manchester, no. No, we were terrible. <laughs> Uh, but Mitch actually was a Mitch Harnish was a was a college teammate of mine for a year, um, and then I just played baseball after that because it was more fun and a lot easier. And I could play hung, I could play hungover too. Yeah, I can do that in football. No, you can't do that in football. No. Well, you <laughs> you forgot uh, about Jordan Lynch, who had a successful Jordan career Lynch, there you in go. Northern Illinois. Yep. Jordan Lynch was the other one. Uh, Jordan Lynch was after him, right, or before him? After. After. He was after. So Harnish then Lynch, right? Okay. Yep. And there was they've had a couple before that even. I mean, they had they had a list of quarterbacks they were running for a while. Yeah, some good DBs too. Had a, a Garrett Wolf was another running back that was really good. He was a short kid. That kid was a stud. Man, he was fun to watch, uh, especially on Thursday nights when there's no other football on. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the only time games. slot they could fill. But yeah, no, I and I agree. But uh, Northern Illinois has been a hell of a program for a long time. They're a perfect, uh, perfect team in there. Hell, I mean, they'd beat the shit out of Purdue right now, right? We all agree with there. Uh, yes. That's hell, a they might even that's compete a, with Indiana. Indiana scores points though. That that's not the same division. Indiana's on the other side. They'll beat up Illinois. They'll beat up Illinois. Yeah, they'll beat up Illinois. Iowa, Iowa run all over. In a couple of years, they might beat up on Nebraska because Nebraska fired Mike Riley, which was the dumbest goddamn thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. For whatever the hell his name is from. Ugh, shut the fuck up. All right. I'm bad about enough of Cody over here and his SEC bias bullshit. All right. Um, and the problem is you guys can't hear him right now at times. He's just muttering in the background, just bullshit. I can talk up. You want me to yeah, talk you can up? talk up. Let's I'll turn it up, up in this thing. That's fine. I'll talk up. Let's get loud. That's what we're here for, damn it. We were yelling at each other down here 20 Dude, minutes ago. We were getting at it. All right. Um, so, Northern Illinois. And then we get to the Big 12. I think Ryan should explain most of this. All right. Newhouse, I'm going to let you go because Memphis in there, you were a big component of Barbie. going of going in there. We both kind of said negative, the and then you finally it. convinced me. Go. I like, I don't – okay, Colorado State. Right. Explain your reasoning. Well, Explain yourself. Well, first of all, the Big 12 needed uh, six teams. You'd look at what we had left. We had Houston, Boise State, Western Kentucky, Colorado State, Memphis. You're trying to toss in App State, La Tech. Uh, so – 
sis- people who systematically work a little bit better. Memphis systematically works real well in a Big 12 system. Well, and, and, and I don't mean to stop you, but it, just for people listening at home, like we didn't uh, – we didn't pick all the other conferences, then pick the Big Twelve. We kind of picked like what made sense, and then what made the most sense, and then what kind of made the most sense. Like that's why. I, um, yeah, but I also got the leftovers in the Big Twelve when it came down what to are you it. Talking about you fought left and right the entire time. Yeah, you were you were on. You were adamant that fucking Memphis Colorado needed to be in the State Big Twelve. Memphis. Those two you fought for. Adamant. Like Colorado State, I really don't give a shit. Like, ugh, whatever. I mean, I could have. Hey, well, we could have. We could have put Louisiana Tech in there before. Well, know. hold, on, hold on. Colorado State was brought in because you lost Colorado, who thought they were Listen, a Pac-12 relevant, educational Colorado school. Colorado State's relevant for one fucking reason, okay, and that's Jim McElwain. When he he's gone, that thing's going to go right back into the ditch as it was. Jim McElwain's at Florida, but that's I mean, what I'm he's the one that built it's, it. It's still a decent program. Yeah. Uh, they they play in the Mountain West. Uh, it's a little difficult. They'll play a Boise State team in the Big Twelve. A uh, possible championship game. Boise State fits. Good football program. Been there all the, uh, a couple of years. Playing a good Oklahoma team. Gave them a little run for their money. So, football-wise, that works. Houston was a no-brainer. We all knew who Houston was going to make I it love, in. By the way, we all watched that bowl game against uh, Florida State, right? <sighs> How fucking amazing is that? How amazing is that? That was a great play. I love that game. Ugh. Dude, fucking Houston's good. Houston's great. They They're like, the last couple of years. like I think literally, if you put them in there, like if you put them in the Big Twelve last year, the only team in their division. Now, we're gonna take a shot at Baylor here, okay? If Baylor has suspended all their good players, which most of them had issues per se, yeah. um, they basically should have forfeited the season. But outside of their division, I mean, you look at Baylor, Iowa State, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Houston, Boise State, Western oh, Kentucky. Only, yeah, Oklahoma's was the only one to get a problem, right? Mm-hmm. I think they can legitimately step in there and win. I and mean, they're going to lose another one just because they're not used to playing that kind of schedule. But they can lose another one. Well, know? Texas is no slouch either. They competed with your Notre Dame and uh... thirty-five and nothing. That's, <laughs> well, they you, call no... that, you call that competing? I don't. That's right. Cody can't listen, talk. I don't the, even know what the score. Cody that lost the fourteen-point lead to uh, Oklahoma, and uh, Texas beat Oklahoma. That's so I just got to say that. <laughs> oh, was that when uh, was that striker on the sideline that yeah. was uh, real yeah. asshole to all those uh, Tennessee fans? Yeah. yeah, I love that guy. By the way, I- I'm glad you did. Yeah, did just he make the NFL? huh? Is he did he, he got drafted in the second round oh, somewhere. Yeah, I don't remember. Is he playing? Uh, should be. I thought he didn't play this week. Eric Stryker. Well, it doesn't matter. He won a game in college, so that's all that matters. To him. Yeah, he beat the SEC. Big bad mighty SEC. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see you know why they travel so well? Because all their homes are mobile. <laughs> yeah. Is that a shot at Brian? Again? That's a shot at every SEC team, by the way. Find me an SEC town. Yeah, that you... Oklahoma came to Tennessee. Huh? Oklahoma came to Tennessee. No, no, no. I'm just saying anyway, just in general. I'm not talking about Oklahoma. I was talking about SEC. You can go to New York City. 103,000 huh? people. Dude, to... listen. If I want to go to a fucking place where 100,000 rednecks get around, I'll just go down to Daytona when they have the fucking NASCAR races, okay? It's the same people. Same people. Nothing on the end. The only reason just, I'm not talking about the stadium. I'll go there when it's empty. I just don't want to be around 100,000 rednecks in the middle of Tennessee. Hey, you're about to see that party this year at Bristol. Uh, that will be interesting. Tennessee right versus there. Virginia Tech. Bristol. Do you? I do. God. It's going to be gone, boys. All right, now, time out. They're taking the pole, like the middle, the actual pole in the middle of the uh... – no, 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 the pole. Like in the middle of Bristol, there's a big pole that's got all the numbers on yeah, it for yeah, the races. Yeah. So they're going to suspend the scoreboard. Right. In the middle of the nas- in the middle yes. of the football field. They're gonna run it from all from the top ranks on wire. That's I've seen pictures of it. It looks crazy. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Because it's bigger than Elon. Oh yeah, it's like a, it's like one hundred and fifteen thousand people, yeah, isn't it? It's up there. With it's the gonna be the largest college. Well, no. It's gonna be the largest college football game. It's gonna. Well, Mich- to Michigan game. currently has a record, I believe, like one hundred and twelve. Yeah, but it's gonna it can hold one hundred and fifteen now. And now and they're gonna add 20, more. Yeah. Listen, that's just something that Michigan's gonna turn around in three years, and Jim Harbaugh is gonna go. <laughs> Fuck you, we're going to add a bunch of stands just so we can beat the SEC's record because Jim Harbaugh's that way. That way we can have more satellite camps. <laughs> Correct. That's not right. Yeah, no. Listen, he's just going to do it to fuck, he, to fuck with people. He's going to come to the South again. Huh? He's going to come to the South to get those players. Listen, take That's because the South. South gets him out of prison. Uh, okay. That's true. South I keeps G. him out of prison. I-N-G. That's all I'm going to say. Easy. Uh, 
It's, a, it's not a, It's not actually a high school. IMG is not. It's, it's a, uh, Aquinas is at least a high school. They've actually been around for a while. IMG just popped up, and they're like, hey, we're going to give scholarships from kids all over the country. Bring them here. It's a high school football academy. There's plenty of places that do that. Here's the deal. Here's the timeout. The Dominicans, when they have baseball down there, okay? We're going to compare this to baseball? No, we're going to compare this to, to compare this to Caribbean baseball, okay? This is, this is, the, this is the, the parallel here. All right, I'm ready for this. So IMG is like Dominican baseball camps, okay? Okay. So when they're 16 years old or 14 years old in the Dominican or some of the countries down there, okay, what do they do? I don't know. I don't keep up with baseball. They put them in baseball camps. Oh, do they? Baseball academies. Oh, okay. Okay, like the Yankees Baseball Academy of Venezuela or okay. whatever. Okay. Okay. Now, they're just taking, taking a chance on that kid and saying, hey, he's going to be a professional baseball player. That's what he's going to do. He could be a professional baseball player. They're assuming more often than not that he is going to be. Okay. Okay. So – this is what IMG does. Okay. If you're a parent and you think your kid's an NFL player, just send him to IMG. Now, the problem that I have with that is in South America, they don't call those baseball schools. What do they call them? Huh? What do they call them? It's just a fucking training ground. Oh, really? Yeah. And Actually, that... they use the term academy, and so does IMG, but IMG also has GPAs on their kids. Trust me. The guys that are baseball, they don't have GPAs that they give a shit about. No, they can you field a ground ball? Can you throw it? And can you fucking hit? Okay. And can you throw it 95 mile an hour? That's all they care about. Right. Now, IMG's like, oh, we're a school. We have sanctioned this and sanctioned that. Bullshit. Those kids are there to play football and that's it. They don't go to fucking class. They might go to football class. They might go to, they need to give them a goddamn social media class so these idiots stay out of trouble on. No joke. That would be a good idea. So let's, so we got, so we got social media 101. That's about right. Okay. Weightlifting, how to, weightlifting, how to, how weightlifting, to talk in society. Weightlifting 901, because they'll right. obviously be excelled at that. Yeah. How to talk in society. How about that one? How to talk like a normal human being. Yeah. So speech class. Yeah. And we got to start at 01, because it's a remedial class for most of those kids. That's about right. Okay. Um, so that's what that's there, for, that's there for, except the quarterbacks. They're in advanced level, like geometry and learning angles of balls and physics and all that shit. That's what they're in. Okay. Because they're typically the smart ones. Every now and then. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to argue and say Lyman are the smartest people out there. Oh, that's right. You're from a layer Lyman perspective. Right. Damn right. it. Okay. So um, anyway, so back to that is we try to still pass it off as a school. Let's just call it what it is. It's a goddamn NFL training ground for kids that are excelled at what they do. Let's just call it what it is. It's not a school. That's fine. Yeah. They still you, took them out like you, you took them out. I like love you were IMG. Gonna, like you right. were gonna, I think it's a terrible thing. Tennessee's uh, giving out scholarships to most of the players. Hey, Notre Dame's gotten like four like four kids from Miami. I was gonna say, I, okay, I listen, don't have a problem not, with what they're doing. It's not they can stay in school. And it's not that I don't. Field, it's I'm not that I don't like the players that they produce. I fucking love the players they produce. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying it's teaching the kids the wrong thing at a young age. Yeah, because I don't know what they're going to do after football. Exactly. There's no backup plan. No. Literally nothing. Like, if really you break, at? like I got news for you. If one of those kids breaks his leg, especially like the running, they're putting out running backs. Oh my god. Left and right. Mm -hmm. The old coach there's actually from Indiana. Won a couple state championships in the state of Indiana. He's their head coach. Good for him. Yeah. Good. So, so we were talking about. He's probably what? hating that heat down there. Oh, I'm sure he does. That is hard. Yeah, well, he got ran out in Oklahoma, too, at another uh, big-time high school, too. <laughs> or no, Kansas, I think. What were we talking about? Earlier? We were talking about last night. Oh, the Tulsa schools? Yeah, Tulsa. There, it was in Oklahoma, yeah. So, anyway. Um, regardless, sidetrack. Got off on a tangent there. Uh, but yeah, basically, um, IMG is essentially the same thing as satellite camp. No, not even that. It's close. No, it's worse. It's worse than a satellite camp. I think so. You think it's like a JUCO? Mm, basically, oh, yeah. It's a rich. It's a rich. It's a rich JUCO. For it's a it, it's literally a prep school before Division One. So that's the same thing as a JUCO. Yeah, if you look at it that way, that's what it is. I Parents can pay for it. Yeah. That's good Dude, for it's like $48,000 a year to go there. Is it really? It's fucking expensive. This shit. It's expensive I'll as fuck. I'll take my good uh, public school education from Nashville, Tennessee. You need to speak up. You're getting quiet now. You're getting Am tired. I? You're Am getting I? tired on me? No. It's because I, I have the You're mic here. Up, I just don't want to yell like I was. Dude, this is that. normal podcasting time in this house. Is it? Yeah, we do it for a lot of times from like 11 o'clock to 1 in the morning. Okay. So I want to hear what Brian's take is on how he got Memphis into this real quick. Oh, Jesus. I said, okay. Uh, Memphis so my has hard, only been good the last two years. So my hard, fast rule was don't confuse a program 
versus a quarterback and a couple other players. Exactly. And I've been okay. Tennessee boy. Love Vandy. Same Tennessee reason why I, I left Tennessee. Miami. I left Miami of Ohio out of there. That's right. Because okay. of Roethlisberger. Because of Roethlisberger. Mm-hmm. All right. So I've done some things. Because Memphis has been good in basketball. 